This is one of these weird things that comes up in eBay from time to time. I was buying from a seller called Say Hello 2015. I was buying some other stuff and saw this lamp and I thought, you know, it's odd that they describe it as a 4 LED SMD lamp, uh, 1 watt. And it seems, well, 1 watt's quite low and it's quite... I wanted to see how they mounted the surface mount the SMD LEDs underneath these. Uh, I wonder if it was just standard 1 watt LEDs and maybe it was just a misdescription because it looks like one of these typical... Uh, for a 1 watt LED lamps that you might get that some people probably describe as 12 watt or 4 watt or something like that. But uh, when you actually plug it in, I have had this open so it probably will fall apart randomly at some point during this presentation. Uh, when I plug it in, it's not super bright, a little bit of shimmer as the iPad's very good at detecting shimmer, uh, but uh, it's it's not super bright and when you look at the power rating it doesn't really register properly it's so low and when you look at the current it's seven milliamps so quite unusual really so let's uh, open it which is easy because I've had it open already and inside uh, is the usual sort of tacked across capacitive dropper type arrangement with a suspiciously low 100 nanofarad capacitor and Inside is just four standard top hat, not top hat, straw hat type LEDs. How odd. Really strange. Um, I wonder why they've done it that way. I mean, it works. It's quite a novel light, but it's more a sort of visual thing. And it should last for ages with the LEDs being run at that current. So if I plug this in again, noting that the circuit board is dangling about precariously. And uh, let's actually measure the current. So this says 7 milliamps. Let's see how accurate it is at low level. So let's get the, this meter into DC current, turn it on, 20 milliamps, and we'll see if I can gingerly probe across one of these LEDs without blowing, blowing everything up in the process. Seven milliamps, that's accurate. Okay, so it is seven milliamps that's being run at. I also want to know what the voltage cross. There's a resistor in there that I just want to know the voltage, what's being dropped across. I could calculate it. I could calculate the voltage across it, or I could be really lazy and just stick the, the meter across it while being careful not to poke my fingers onto this. Oops. Ah. The voltage is, he says, completely missing the connection. Oh, get on. Four volts. Okay, righty ho. Um, so let's uh, do the schematic for this. It's going to be the standard schematic. It's just what's really odd is that, that they've done that in the first place. What is this aimed at? Why has someone made this? It's one of these we made it because we can sort of things like that. It would make a it would make a nice enough sort of night light or just a low level illumination. So. We've got, they've actually got the red coming back from the back terminal, so we'll go as this being live and the outer shell being neutral, so live, which is how we'd call it in the UK. Uh, we've got the 100 nano, 400 volts, no great surprises there. We've got a discharge resistor across it, well he says completely failing to draw a resistor. I'll draw a fuse instead. Actually, come to think of it, it's 100k, so it could well be a fuse. Uh, that's going to run that resistor at quite a lot of power. That's not going to be a happy resistor, really. Then it's through a bridge rectifier, said Clive, drawing a really lazy bridge rectifier. Which is this little dinky thing here, which is a through-hole bridge rectifier. It's kind of rare to see that. Then the positive, is that a positive? Yep, comes out and goes through a green, blue, brown, 560 ohm resistor. And then that goes a rather odd route to the capacitor. He said, drawing a really chunky, uh, just an absolutely massive capacitor, in fact. That's quite surprising. 
This lamp is full of surprises, including my drawing. Uh, there's a resistor across the capacitor, which is also 100k, which is not going to be stressed out, because let's face it, um, then it's just four LEDs, and this time I can actually draw all the LEDs, because there are only four, with a combined forward voltage probably in the region of 12 volts, if that. Yeah, what's the capacitor? 4.7 microfarad, 400 volt. So even if the LEDs went open circuit, it wouldn't stress anything. Yeah, that's, uh, this is just odd. But I kind of like it because um, it means that I can change these LEDs to any colour I like. It means it's serviceable. It means it's ultra low power. Um, it's just an oddity. It's a strange, strange little lamp. I kind of like the fact that, you know, I wonder if it's just because they said, you know, these are this is designed to go over the high power LEDs, but it just so happens that it fits quite snugly. And I mean, by snugly, I mean it goes over the rim of the LED. It just fits really snugly over those LEDs. So maybe they thought, you know, we can, so we will just make one like this just for the novelty aspect. Maybe they were going to pretend that it was a high power 4 watt LED lamp and then decided, oh, I don't think I'm just going to be too happy when they get that. But uh, yeah, it's very low power. Uh, actually, hold on, we can work out what power it is. It's 7 milliamps, 0.007 times, it's about 12 volts across the LEDs, 4 volts across that resistor, 16 volts equals, oh, it's minute. It's 0.1 watt. It's ridiculously low powered. That's quite neat, just as a visual thing. Yeah, that's... It's just weird. It's just one of these random weird, weird eBay products that, that I'm not sure what they have. I, 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 what were they aiming this at? It's, it's, it's strange. I like it, but it's strange.